Yeah, man. Morning to my view. All of the ones, them, you know, the females and all of the males, them. My take on this thing, yeah. As when I watch TVJ News last night, and me hear a brother say, him think the state of emergency can work, but the government just need to utilize it the right way. Me think them now listen to the voices of the people. Because a long time here people are tell them say yo it can work, but them just need to utilize it in the right way. And I think the government deliberately I use it in the way where them feel like say it for use and it now work the way or them see see it. You see me some think they need to listen to the people them more. Listen to the people them where face it, the people them where go through it. You see me and say cause them know and them see where I go on first son. Yeah man. My view, man in time, big up all of the real man in the place. I don't know myself already. But keep the family alive. But keep the thing going. You know what I mean? Blessed love. Yeah. When it comes to crime now, my view. It's right now. Me a priest, so we need more boots on the ground. We need more boots from the police and the so-so. We need the so-so them right at right at them side to give them more confidence in themselves. To make them know so they can do this the right and proper way. You know what I mean? Because you don't know the source of them as such man talk, you know. The police them shake you away, you know. You know what I mean? And if the source of them dog them foot to them, it will give them confident. You know what I mean? And remember say, out there, on every every um what I'm gonna call it now, on every station or every um group of bad cops or of bad so-so. There's still a good police out there and good source out there. You know what I mean? I just say put more boots on the ground in the hot areas them. And even the cold areas them. Cause remember say most of the time as air so get cold over there so get hot. You know what I mean? So we just feel so we need more boots. You know what I mean? And when we say boots, I mean whole heap of boots, enough boots. You know what I mean? Pin down the whole place. You know what I mean? Let me just say, I'm gonna feel a thing twice each time when I'm gonna make a move. You understand? Well, we have to start from in the security force. You see me? Because they're not honest with each other either. Because it's a police and soldier. We are bad man. We are work with criminals. You see me? The police and soldier will work with criminals so we have to start from in the security force first you see me then in the community them because sometimes police you tell the police them say yo such person there right just yes, such person there so them go back go tell the, the, the same person the same thing and that's how then that's how people lose them life you see me that's how people lose them life I mean, a bad man and a walk around and a knock on people do with police uniform, the same police weapon where them have and thing, police shoes, police everything. Say, no, who are knock on door. You see me? Whether police or bad man, even if you see the uniform, you can't trust the uniform either. Whether you see intense in one of the JDF uniform, in one of uh, mm -hmm. The whole uniform, not just a shirt and a and a pants alone, the shoes, everything. I look something with them bring the gun in and out. We have to start them in the JDA first. You see me? Mm -hmm. Well my view, me not even uh, go down in uh, this too tough you know. But me they don't show barefoot it already say the two of them, the JCF and the JDF corrupt. But one corrupt more than the other, cause one entail more discipline. <clears throat> and I believe you have enough youth out there where them just want to become a soldier. It's them heart desire. So then going out with a passion. And you have most police, them just want a belly full. <laughs> yeah, that's why them going there. I just that, but me that tell show barefoot say, there's a solution where me say, we have for those. Scrap, we have to disassemble the police force. We have to start over with the police force. And I'm there to assure him, say, once you touch the police force, we have to go change up the government too. We have to go just take a little time 
and change the thing. But as you say, I go down in the car, it was a long explanation of how I get barefoot there. And I doubt if me, I did listen to it because I never did reply. But I gave him this. But the main thing, and I don't believe social media add to this crime and violence thing. It publicized the thing, yes, and it, it made the thing stay away where them either criminal they can get for share the happenings with them do. We always hear them criminal are corner boy always hear you say. They, they have it for say people are informer, but them are the biggest informer. I go around here, Kirk, me, Barn and Grand, and the bad man is my biggest informer. Most people too afraid for talk. But bad man, them are certain police, no certain bad man. But what I forgot to start to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, what I forgot, too much corruption there in there. Just too much. I understand where the Rasta said the other day. Say, we can't allow them to do extra judicial killing. Yeah, the man go overboard. I don't mean, you know if you don't know about the experiment with them, they do the, uh, is an experiment, you know, simulated prison, the man them build with prisoner and them water and them something, and the water them start abuse the prisoner, them know that this thing was simulated, it wasn't a real setting, you know, <laughs> that does just go to show you, say, you give man power a certain way without regulation, the thing now go look good at the end of the day, but. As you say, Mr. My View, we have to go scrap everything. And we can't put no, nobody in charge like Chief Curry. Andrew Wilnes and no, and I believe too, and I mean thing them or destroy the country, we need to get rid of this party thing. PMP, JLP, we need to scrap that too. So we need to start to the police force first that the politician them now have no defense. <laughs> and then we deal with the politician and them next. Change out everybody, new faces. Me know the police force, maybe I got have a couple of them still left back for sure how the work do. But make sure say, even them people get changed out too. And monitor the force. You know what you say you now? In the come. It's like in the come of them friends. But me not even I get dog in a certain grass you early man. Now me have to get ready for go to work though. Yeah man, <clears throat> I believe so to work. Me always say so say certain man with with end a crime because it, it make money for them. And the man need reason for go do whatever they might do like for example a security company no crime out and nobody no want to rob no way then can't make no money so them probably have to go encourage crime or pay people for go do some things and then now them come in you know bad man thing is a, a unofficial thing but that's a security work go oh, yeah if you have somebody for protect for you pick up yourself one day in the first place and you know, and uh, just a connecting thing. Me. That's why I say, after we don't touch the security force, is we are gonna need for go. I don't think the JDF are gonna take much for clean up. Is make a uh, them more discipline and enough bad apple in a JDF right you now. Uh, then used to the end there. Enough of them end up just have to come out because they don't see what them up against say, boy, the thing look away. So most of them end up just come out, but corruption they all about. And me hear Jed raise up something say, yo, um, violence, there's a space, always be space for violence in the society. But so we well, have to have laws, that's why I say we well, have to touch the the politician them. I'm going to need laws of a curve because you can't eliminate crime completely but you can curve the stem of crime. Mm -hmm. But the new laws, them, cause you, man, you, you catch a man with gun, how much I think you can get three years, that's a joke thing. At ten years you suppose, <laughs> yeah man, yeah. He think twice next time when he, he, he go pick up a gun and walk the streets with a gun. 
them something they are joke thing enough of them are you can't see what go on in our prison we really are going in our prison that's a corruption bad and me I listen to one voice note last night too. I can't even believe it. So that's why I love listening to the voice Me hear a man say, and I skip out. But I love listening to the voice note to the youth that say, you know, this modern day and age, they still have slaves to rot in the surprise of that. Me shock out of my wits when the man has them, I said that to rot in. Can't believe it. 2021 and we still have slaves. But as I said, we need to start push out. Hopefully the group will grow larger than how it is. Enough man they are complain about people and say nothing. You have people out there where it work, where it do the work. You don't even say a word on this. Enough people out there have many different reasons why people don't say nothing. But I believe on a reason them. People them by the time some of them look on the chat and see what go on, the, the conversation there are ever done gone and them just don't feel the need more time. And I like a free spirit man like me where something went past from two weeks ago and me just blurt it out to that group said we Love and respect bless. What be your foot there? What be so barefoot there? Alright my view, my always trust that crime is a big Big topic and cover a wide area from corruption to burglary to gun thing. So when we talk about solutions, we have to just choose for specific areas. So for example, in terms of community crime, see, I think we, we, because we can't depend on the leadership of the government, I think the community leaders will start a Ment Fathers Inc. mentorship program. So the good men of a particular community come together, the strong men, and form an alliance where the men of the community take charge and start to look out for the youths them and mentor the youths them. That's going to be difficult if it's a toxic community because the, the, power, the, the corrupt powers we're being in them community don't want that. So we may have a problem there, but that is still a solution. Working in accordance with the police for start some community level mentorship for boys program. Even if we save a few youths them way there, at least we would have saved a, a, a possible ten deaths, eight deaths, that sort of thing. See? So I think that is a start a com from the community level. A community mentorship program, fathers incorporated, fathers coming together in a, in a, in in in, in a farming different groups are farming a body in each community. I think we need to go back to the community level and start have that sort of community together. So easier said than done because we know how <coughs> we know how <coughs> we know how Garrison run. I say it's not gonna be easy, but. If we sit down and say something not gonna work, <coughs> it just not gonna work. Um secondly, we need for we need for organize. Um we need for have more what do you call it? Um charity groups in terms of um bodies where go where go where 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 where, 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 where I go um look out for different sectors vulnerable sectors of the community you understand like aid groups like for example um different self-funding groups we're gonna look out for old people the vulnerable victims we have to start incorporate more um victims body for come out and speak out like for example women who have lost them husbands women who have lost them kids and so the community can get more aware of what is happening get gunmen who have turned from them crime for come out and start encourage others not to get in crime people who come from prison i intend to make a change find those people and make them start talk out them start a start a initiative there you know what i mean the bigger picture is how do we stop guns from coming in the country these things is another level a a a, 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 a crime solution because then you talk about leadership and wealth and this is about the people no the comp the, the country them ourselves for understand say the politicians serve us 
and then they, they must be held accountable and that take education lots of people not educated about what leadership is and should be and how, what position we have as a people so that is it educating the public about politics so that they have a better understanding what what we we're supposed to get and what we're supposed to look for in a leader that's that my solution good morning my food already put a 1.5 million dollar reward upon the possession of any firearm so if you and your bridging them plan for go commit no crime one of them make a call three man in a car 72 hours not for pass and him not collect him 4.5 million dollar reward let me tell you if you put 1.5 million dollar for reward with a possession that means say if you give the police information with a man where you know of a legal firearm once you hold it upon him, get a, you get a 1.5 million dollar reward. All a man mother, he might start look pan suspicious. A man to think 10 times before he take up no gun, say he might go to drive by. He might not go recruit him, bridging them for him to shoot up now. That I look. And honestly, believe that would have been so effective, he wouldn't even have to pay all the reward them. Because people would just think about it so much.